Welcome back to another edition of Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time, we went over starting pitcher Mike Soroka in AA Mississippi, and this time we're going to be staying in Mississippi to go over second base prospect Travis Demerit. So some background on Demerit, he is a second baseman, but he can play third as well. He's played some short in his career, but he's more of a second third baseman. He stands 6 feet tall, 180 pounds. He's 22 years old. In the game, he is a 67 overall, a C potential, and he is the number 9 Atlanta Braves prospect, according to MLB.com, heading into the 2017 season. As far as his prospect grades, he is graded as a 45 hit on the 20 to 80 scale. He is a 55 power, a 50 run, a 50 or 60 arm correction, a 55 field, and a 50 overall. And his MLB.com ETA is 2018. Now, I personally think his ETA is more like halfway through 2017. He is already a 67 overall. His attributes are already pretty darn good in game. And I think that he would possibly he would be able to contribute at the major league level even right now, I think. But I don't want to call him up now. I don't want to call him up really in 2017 either. But if I really wanted to, he could come up like halfway through 2017 and contribute a roll off the bench. Because as of right now, he is kind of stuck in a log jam. He's behind Ozzy Albee, the second base, who is definitely going to be the starting second baseman next year in 2018 season. So he's stuck there at second. And then at third base, we have Rio Ruiz, who I prefer to have a guy who can... Rio Ruiz can hit decently well, but he's also very good in the field, while Demerit's kind of sketchy in the field. So Ruiz is kind of above him on the depth chart as well. So he's kind of in a logjam, probably fits more as like a backup infielder right now because of that logjam. He, he, or he could just flat it up play these guys and he would earn himself a spot. But as of right now, he's kind of stuck behind these two guys at second and third base. He could possibly move to the outfield, maybe a corner outfield spot. We'll have to see, but right now it's second, third base. So Demerit is a guy who was drafted in the first round in 2013 by the Texas Rangers. He was their 30th overall pick out of either Winder Barrow High School or Winder Barrow High School in Winder or Winder, Georgia. He's a Georgia boy here playing for the, or he's in Mississippi right now, but he will be playing for the Atlanta Braves from Georgia, hometown guy. And ever since he's been drafted 30th overall in 2013, he's had an up and down career. So he got drafted in 2013, had half a season there, but then in his first full season, he hit 25 home runs. And then that was 2014. And then in 2015, he was suspended 80 games for a performance enhancing substance. So that was a down year for him. And then he comes back in 2016 and he hits 28 home runs. And then he was also traded to the Braves in return for Lucas Harrell and Dario Alvarez. Now, Demerit is an interesting prospect because as a second baseman, you really expect more of like a kind of small, speedy, shifty guys. I mean, there's definitely a more of a more power hitters at second base nowadays than there were in like the 90s and 80s and whatnot. But Demerit's still kind of a unique guy to put at that second base position. He's got a lot of pop, 55 power. In game, he's even got good power, but so far in double A, he's hitting 285, which is good. He's only, got, he's only got three home runs, though. He's driven in 43 RBI in 295 at bats, but he only has three home runs. I don't know how, but he only has three home runs. He definitely has the pop in game to hit home runs. I'd even say in game, he's capable of hitting 20 home runs in a season, but he's just not doing it so far in double A. But hopefully, that'll turn around as his career gets going. Now on the 2080 scale, he does have a 60 grade arm. Uh, I don't think he is a 60 grade arm in game necessarily. He only has a 63 arm strength. Uh, he's a bit sketchy with his reaction time. His feelings only a 56, only a 46 arm accuracy, 63 arm strength. So that's not really a 60 grade arm in game, but that's what he's graded on MLB.com. 55 field, also that's kind of like an average fielding grade, or is above average. I think it's above average fielding grade, and once again, in game, it's kind of sketchy. 50 reaction, 58 fielding. Once again, it can get better, but that's what it is right now in double A. So I'm kind of hesitant to put him at third base because I don't want a guy who's just completely useless playing the hot corner when we have a guy like Rio Rees who, who has like close to 80 fielding. But his hitting attributes is really where Demerit shines. He's got 48 contact versus righties, 53 versus lefties, 51 power versus righties, 57 power versus uh, lefties. 
So he's got the good hitting attributes. He's even got, like I said, he's got pop. That could put up 20 home runs in a season, I think. 15, 20 home runs. But like I said, he's not hitting him so far in the year. Uh, his vision's kind of a bit. He has a bit of a strikeout issue. He's cut down on the strikeouts when he played in the Arizona Fall League this past fall. And he always has had a pretty good walk rate. He's got a 65 discipline. So that's good to see. And Demerit definitely doesn't have the fleetest of feet, but he definitely isn't slow either. He's got 58 speed. That's just under 60. He's no slouch on the base path. He's not going to be stealing many bases, but he's not really slow either. And as far as Demerit's player comparison goes, I would say that he's kind of a throwback player. We're going to throw this back for the comparison in Alfonso Soriano. And now many of you guys know, probably know Soriano as a outfielder, a left fielder with the Cubs, but uh, he wasn't always an outfielder. He came up in the Yankees system as a second baseman. He was that long strided power hitting second baseman that the Yankees had, and uh, he's kind of like Travis Demerit. Pretty, I think it's a pretty good comparison is Alfonso Soriano. Then he went to the Rangers. He was their second baseman for a while. So with that being said, it's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Atlanta Braves Prospect Profile going over Travis Demerit in Double A, Mississippi. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. Like the one